क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ट्वेल्व पीपल फ्रॉम ए क्लब बाई पिकिंग लॉर्ड्स वन ऑफ दिल होस्ट ए डिनर फॉर ऑल वन सिन ए मंथ द नंबर ऑफ डिनर्स ए पर्टिकुलर मेंबर हैज टू होस्ट इन वन ईयर इज सो हियर इन ए क्लब देर आर ट्वेल्व पीपल वन सिन ए मंथ बाई पिकिंग लॉर्ड्स वन हैज टू गिव डिनर फॉर ऑल देन इफ दैट पर्टिक ए पर्टिकुलर मेंबर members lot is taken all the 12 times then maximum uh, possible number that a particular member has to give dinner is 12 if none of the month his lot is not taken then minimum possible number of din dinners by a particular member equal to 0 that means the number of dinners a particular member has to host in one year is varying from Zero to twelve. Therefore, our answer is from the options. The number of dinners a particular member has to host in one year is cannot be predicted. Option D. Question number ten. An automobile owner reduced his monthly petrol consumption when the price went up. The price consumption relationship is as follows. Here, price in uh, rupees per liter and monthly consumption in liters are given. Then, if the price goes up to rupees eighty per liter, his expected consumption in liters will be. So here, first we have to find the relationship between the uh, price per liter and and the monthly consumption. So first here, price is forty rupees. That time, monthly consumption is. Sixty liters. So the total expenditure for the petrol equal to uh, monthly consumption in liter into per liter price. That is equal to forty. Sixty into forty we get two thousand four hundred. Sixty into forty equal to two thousand four hundred. Then in the second month, price increased to fifty and consumption reduced to forty eight. Then Multiplying forty eight into fifty, we get two thousand four hundred. This is the monthly expenditure. Again, here sixteen to forty equal to two thousand four hundred. Then seventy five into thirty two equal to two thousand four hundred. That means monthly expenditure for the petrol is same. That is equal to two thousand four hundred. That is the relationship. That means when price went up to eighty, then He could purchase X liters for the money he has expend uh, money he has two thousand four hundred. Then number of liters equal to two thousand four hundred divided by eighty equal to we get thirty. Our answer is option A, thirty. Consider the figures given below to fit the question mark. The correct answer is. So here, we have four options. We have to select the right figure corresponding to the question mark. This question mark. For that, we have to find the relationship between these four figures. How these are. Connected each other. Here you can see there is a triangle here. This triangle, when moving into the next figure, its position is shifted to the in the clockwise direction, and it is inverted. Then, from here to the next figure, it is moved to next position and. It is inverted from the last position. Then from here to this, again it is inverted from the last position. That means in the next figure, corresponding to this question mark, it will be like this. So option A and option B have such a triangle here. So either of these may be our answer. Now let us see the. Next figure here. Here there is a two lines. At the end of there are 
three geometries and you can see these geometries are moving in the shifting in the anti clockwise direction from one position to another one position to the another that means uh, this black dot moved to the here to this position this in the anti clockwise direction reached to here similarly this is reached to the in the anti clockwise direction here so based on that this position this square will reach us reaches at the this position that means at first position it is square therefore our answer is option a we will get a figure like this question number 12 consider the following matrix what is the missing number at this question mark in the matrix here we have four options so first we have to find the relationship between these numbers given numbers in the box here see 3 square equal to 9 9 minus 3 equal to 6 we get 6 similarly 8 square equal to 64 8 square equal to 64 64 minus 8 equal to 56 10 square equal to 100 100 minus 10 equal to 90 2 square equal to 4 4 minus 2 equal to 2 1 square equal to 1 1 minus 1 equal to 0 then here what will be the this question mark that is 5 square option a 5 square equal to 25 25 minus 5 equal to 20 our answer is option a 5 Question number thirteen. What is the missing number x of the series seven x twenty one thirty one forty three? So here the difference between these two numbers last last two numbers is twelve. Then twenty one difference between thirty one and twenty one is ten. Then here we don't know what is the difference, but here we can see in this sequence the number is in the sequence numbers are increasing and the difference between the adjacent numbers also increasing and here it is increased by 10 plus 2 equal to 12 that means this number this difference will be 8 10 minus 2 8 then 21 minus 8 we get 13 then here again 8 minus 2 equal to 6 13 minus 6 equal to 7 therefore our answer is option c 13 question number 14 four cardboard pieces of specific shapes are shown in the following figure which one of the following figures given can be formed by joining these pieces together so here we have four figures we have to find which one of these following figures can be formed using two rectangles given here and two right angled triangles rectangles means its angles are 90 degree and here right angled triangle one angle is 90 degree then see the first figure here these two are parallelograms angles are not 90 degree therefore option a ruled out then in the second figure this is a trapezoid here the angle is not 90 degree here also therefore this is also not our answer then here also these two are two parallelograms therefore this is not our answer here you can see two rectangles and two right angled triangles therefore option d is our answer Question number fifteen. In a test, a candidate attempted only eight questions and secured fifty percentage marks in each of the questions. If he obtained a total of forty percentage in the test and all questions in the test carried equal marks, how many questions were there in the test? 
so here we have to find how many questions were there in the test for that they said he obtained 40 percentage marks a total of 30 percentage marks when he attempted eight questions and secured 50 percentage marks in each questions then here said that all questions in the test carried equal marks so here how we got this 40 percentage marks how we can calculate this 40 percentage for that maximum marks for that exam there will be maximum marks how we got that maximum marks upon upon marks obtained into 100 we get 40 percentage then how we get this maximum marks if there are x questions x questions and each question carries equal marks that means i am considering equal marks as m then m into x that will be the maximum marks in for that paper so maximum marks equal to m into x upon marks obtained marks obtained he attempted eight questions eight questions and secured 50 percentage marks in each question that means 8 into 50 percentage of m equal to m by 2 each question carry m marks and he secured 50 percentage of that m that is equal to m by 2 half the mark into 100 we get 40 percentage 40 then simplifying this equation we will get the required answer so here m m gone then two fours are eight then this become 400 divided by x equal to 40 rearranging this take this x right side then it become x in the numerator and 40 into the left side it, it, it become 40 in the numerator then here we get uh, 10 40 sir 400 so x equal to 10 we get x equal to 10 there are 10 questions in that paper our answer is option B, 10. Question number 16. A father is 9 times as old as his son. And the mother is 8 times as old as the son. The sum of the father's and mother's age is 51 years. What is the age of the son? So here it is given that a father is 9 times as old as his son. So father's age equal to father's age equal to nine times as that of son. Then mother's age equal to eight times as old as son. Eight into son's age equal to s. Then eight is. Then it is given that father's and mother's age is. 51 years sum of father's and mother's age is 51 years f plus father's age plus mother's age equal to 51 years then what is the age of son here we have four options see the first option option seven years if son's age is seven years then nine into seven 63 here nine into seven 63 which is more than that of father's plus mother's age therefore this is not our answer then if uh, son's age equal to 5 then father's age equal to 45 and mother's age equal to 40 40 plus 45 85 therefore this is also not our answer then 4 9 fourths are 36 8 fourths are here it is 36 here it is 24 36 plus 24 60 therefore this is also not our answer then option d three years is our answer 
or otherwise we can find uh, just add this is equation 1 this is equation 2 then equation 1 plus 2 we get f plus m equal to 9s plus 8s 9s plus 8s equal to 17 years that means here 17 years equal to 51 here left side in in both these equations left side are equal therefore that means right side is also equal 17 s equal to 51 then s equal to 51 divided by 17 we get 3 therefore our answer is the age of the sun equal to 3 years option D question number 17 four persons A B C and D consisting of two married couples are in a group both the women women are shorter than their respective husbands a is the tallest among the four c is the c is taller than b d is b's brother in this context which one of the following statements is not correct and here we have four statements now let us see the uh, given information here and decode these informations and find which one of the following is not correct so here in the first statement four persons a b c d consisting of two married couples there are four person in that two married couples then both the women are shorter than their respective husbands women are shorter than their respective husbands a is the tallest among the four a is tallest among the four that means a is a man i am representing men in a square and he is the tallest c is because two women are shorter than their respective husband that means the tallest among them will be a man then here c is taller than b c is taller than b then d is b's brother D is a man and B is brother then that means C is wife of D and B is wife of A because D B is D's sister then that means here there are only two married couples there are only four persons therefore A is husband of B in this context which one of the following statement is not correct and we can rewrite these things here a is a husband of b and d is husband of c and d and b relationship is brother and sister then here see all four have family ties yes a and d are in-laws brother-in-laws then b is the shortest among the four b is the shortest among the four here it is given that c is taller than b c is taller than b and d is husband of c that means d is taller than c and a is tallest among four therefore this is also true then third st statement c is taller than d c is not taller than d this is the this is wrong and we want to find which one of the following statement is not correct therefore this is our answer option c c is taller than d let us see the fourth statement so statement also a is b's husband yes a is b's husband this is also true 
therefore our answer is option C C is taller than D which is wrong question number 18 consider the following statements statement 1 a man had a wife two sons and two daughters in his family statement 2 the daughters were invited to a feast and the male members of the family went out to take part in a picnic third statement the man's father did not return from his work then which of the following statements is true so here we have four statements. We have to find which one is true with respect to these three statements. So here it is said that a man had a wife, two sons and two daughters in his family. Then said the daughters were invited to a feast and the male members of the family went out to take part in a picnic so here daughters were invited to a feast so prob probably they may left to the home then the male members of the family went out to take part in a picnic that means male members are two son and the man himself so they also they were also not in the home then the third statement the man's father did not return from his work that means uh, his father also there not in the home so his wife is th there in the home then first statement only the man's wife was left at home if there are only these six members his, plus his father then this statement is true only the man's wife was left at home now see the second statement it is likely that the man's wife was left at home this is also true you know it is likely that man's wife was left at home yes she is there in the home then third statement none was left at home this is wrong because his wife was there in the home more than one person was left at home that we don't know based on the given statements so this is also wrong one thing we know man's wife is there we don't know any other person is there or not now see the first two statement here only the man's wife was left at home here first uh, in this statement first they said in his family there are his wife two sons and two daughters then said man's father did not return from home so it is not clear that how many members are there in that home so this statement is an absolute statement only the man's wife was left at home so this is wrong so our answer is it is likely that the man's wife was left at home so our answer is option b Question number 19. Gida. Naresh has become a better boxer since he started meditation. Radha. Impossible. A boxer's most important asset is his aggressiveness. Radha's statement reflects her belief that here we have four options. Now, see what Gida said. Naresh has become a better boxer better boxer since he started meditation then Radha said impossible a boxer's most important asset is his aggressiveness so Radha is saying uh, a boxer's most important asset is his aggressiveness and practicing meditation lose that uh, aggressiveness so it is impossible to become a better boxer after practicing meditation so now see the uh, options for option a meditation tends to make a person less aggressive so Radha's statement reflect her belief that meditation tends to make a person less aggressive so this is true see the second statement 
Meditation has little or no effect on the person who practices it. This is a generalized statement. Here she is talking about uh, a boxer Naresh and his aggressiveness. So this statement is wrong. Naresh was poor boxer earlier because he was not aggressive enough. In this statement that's, that is also not reflecting. So this is also wrong. Naresh would not have taken to meditation as he was a boxer. So that is also not reflecting from this statement. She is just saying it is impossible. A boxer's most important asset is his aggressiveness. When this, this she said, the context is when Gita said, Naresh has become a better boxer since he started meditation. So she is just countering Gita's statement. Therefore, statement, this statement D also, option D also wrong. Naresh would not have taken to meditation as, as he was a boxer. So the uh, correct state, uh, reflection of her statement is meditation tends to make a person less aggressive. Option A.